We're about to play a new game. It's called... You ain't ever gonna get this candy. You ain't ever gonna get this candy. It's called, if you haven't gathered already, you ain't ever gonna get this candy. So, I like chocolate. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I have my favourites, my favourite brands, but this is the BBC, so we're going to represent them all equally today. So, the idea is very simple. Jemmy, you've got a bag of candy there. I cannot see the bag. All right, careful. It was expensive, that bag. It's back for life. Don't ruin it. Um, if you're watching on webcam, by the way, and want to see Gemma Collins dip her hand into a glittery bag... My goodness, you're going to be delighted because you can. It's on the Radio 1 website now. You can get it up on your phone, get it up on your laptop, on your tablet. If you're enthused by that, go there and you can see this game happen. Now, I need to be blindfolded for the second time today, Gemma. I'm wearing a blindfold, so I'm going to pop this on. The rules are very simple. I will have one minute in which Gemma will describe various chocolate bars. Hang on, I'm trying to put that over my headphones. It's not work. Give me a second. Right, I'm going to have one minute in which Gemma will describe some chocolate bars found in the bag. I can't see them. I have to work out from her description what they are. I am not allowed to cheat, and Gemma, you are not allowed to say the name of the chocolate bar. So you can't pull it out and go, it's a Kit Kat Chunky. You can't do that, all right? You just have to describe it. Do you understand the rules, Gemma? I know I'm from Essex, but yeah, I do. <laughs> all right, I'm just checking. <laughs> Honestly. All right, here we go then. I believe it's time for some tense music. I'm not pressing the buttons because I can't see anything. So hopefully someone will do that sometime soon. All right, we've got 60 seconds starting now. Off we go. OK, it's chewy. It's chewy. It, uh, it's orange. Cr crunchy. Ch no, it's crispy. Um, chewy, crispy, orange. Toffee crisp. Correct. You won. Yay! What's up next? Oh, hang on a second. I've set this on a system whereby... Let me set a blindfold off. Don't let me have a look. This is, this is a disaster, isn't it? Right, hang on. Here we go. Dan, I'm going to put my 60-second timer there. Got you it. can use yeah. that, and then you can use that for the uh, for the correct ones. Here we go. Right, let's play on. 60-second timer, please. They're chewy. You Can't... get a burst of flavour with every bite. Are they chew it? No. Oh, uh, Skittles. No. There's ah. something that's in the sky that resembles the first part of what they're called. Okay, the they sun. Burst sun, starburst. With starburst. Yes. Yes. Ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm, I am ready. Stop taking so much time. Hey, man, I'm sitting on the beach with my coconut rum punch. <laughs> is it yeah, a bounty? It is. Anything to stop that accent? Carry on. Okay, we have got <laughs> something very chewy. You can't describe everyone as chewy. Begins with F. Oh, that's just cheating, isn't it? Um, no, go on. I'm because no, you could say you. the next letter is whatever it is. Begins with F. Yeah. Give me more clues, Gemma. You're rubbish well, at this. It's like a stick. It's got chocolate around it, and it's only twenty pence. A flake? It's, no. No, it's got not chewy. No, you lost. Right. What? That was a disaster. <laughs> it began was... with F. It was a fudge. Ah, come on! I could have thought of a million things to say for fudge. Oh, OK. Ah, the blindfold's coming off. Oh, is it over? Yeah, it's over. Oh. How much chocolate did I win? Three things. Three things. Three, but I'm going to give you the fourth bar. Really? Just because you're gold. Oh, that's good. You'd be good on a quiz show. They used to do that in the catchphrase, didn't they? If someone didn't do well, Roy Walker would just have like a pocket full of cash and just hand it over. You didn't win, but here's 200 quid. Um, I've done that, but with a fudge today. So thank you for offering me your fudge for free, Gemma. Much appreciated. That game... I don't think we'll be returning to Radio 1. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to confidently say that now. But hey, it was worth a try. I think that what I think what we've learned is that when you base a game on someone's one-time catchphrase, which of course was... You ain't ever going to get this candy. Doesn't necessarily translate into good radio game. Anyway, Gemma, we've got some questions from the listeners coming...